Susan Garlinghouse, and I've been connected to this library since the day we moved to Topeka from Columbus, Indiana, and that's about 50 years ago. There are more than one time that I have to comment on. Uh, first, we have five children, and all of them grew up here in Topeka, so we spent many, many days at the library at book readings, at whatever kind of activities that the library had. I met Jim McHenry early on, and he introduced me to the Library Foundation, and I served on that board for a short time. Because of that, I became involved more and more with the library and was here for very many exciting opportunities, including the Michael Graves edition. And because we have a beautiful home where we can host a lot of people, Michael Graves was actually at our home at a perhaps a social I'm not even sure what the real reason for was, but there were a lot of people there. Michael, as I remember, is not a real social person. And when he found out we had a dog and the dog was sequestered in the mudroom, he said, oh, can I just go sit with your dog for a while? <laughs> so Michael was introduced to our dog at the time, Rugger, and he sat out there with our black lab and had a wonderful time. Another opportunity that came my way, I had read an article about Born to Read, and I discussed that with Jim, and he said, oh, that just sounds like a neat thing. I wonder if we could do that at the library. And sure enough, after some research and some exciting opportunities, we pulled off Born to Read, which gave new babies at the hospital a library card and a book and all the information about how they and their families could become more involved in all of the opportunities at the library. I'd say a pivotal moment would have been born to read because it really could change the opportunities for lots of families to change how they thought about books and learning. And a philosophy of mine has always been the importance of lifelong learning and it really does start with those early moments, the birth to three-year-olds when they can come and read and just get excited about a book. The library's just added so much to the Topeka community, the quality of life here, the architecture, the people that the library draws together. I think it's all really incredibly wonderful. Laura Bush was here one evening. Ken Follett has visited the library. We've had a lot of exciting people. And while Topeka may be a small town in terms of population, the Topeka Public Library has made it a wonderful, exciting place for all of us, some of us that didn't grow up here in Topeka. We find it more than just a small town library. It is a window on the world.